hey what's up guys in this video let's talk about uh, maps okay uh, this is one of the commonly requested uh, videos on this channel a lot of people have been asking me uh, to do maps in flutter asking me how to bring maps inside flutter now uh, there are a different uh, there are a variety of providers providing uh, the map service to you through apis the commonly used one is the Google Maps provider and the second most commonly used one is the Leaflet Maps. Leaflet Maps is an open source provider. Okay. Uh, and you can also use a third party service like Mapbox to create custom tiles and then use them in conjunction with uh, Leaflet to you know, enhance, the, uh, enhance the look and feel of the maps in your uh, Flutter apps. Not just Flutter apps, in your mobile applications. So uh, in this video, let's talk about uh, leaflet maps first. And once we finish talking about leaflet maps, I'll make a separate video for uh, Google Maps as well. So uh, leaflet maps, as I said, it's completely open source. You can just use it by making a call to the particular uh, service provider. You do not provide a key or anything. It's completely free and open source. And uh, let's see how to first, let's see how to bring in a map inside your application first. In order to do that, the first thing you need to do is I have created a new application here. Nothing fancy in this. I'll even remove these comments. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get into pubspec.yaml and then I'm going to add a plugin for bringing in Flutter maps. The plugin is Flutter map. Okay. This is a dependency. Once I add it, it will automatically. Uh, run flutter packages get and uh, try to install it if you are using a different UD, uh, ide other than vs code i mean uh, kindly try to uh, run flutter packages get by yourself in the uh, command prompt that is console okay this is done uh, get back into main.dart and then under import add the import for this file that you just created as well so in oh sorry import uh, package as usual flutter uh, map i think yeah map flutter map dot dot yeah this is the one and we need to specify uh, latitude and longitude uh, we'll talk about latitude and longitude later maybe first we'll see how to bring in the map a basic map inside your uh, mobile application and then get in here i have just created a app bar here right let's add a body as well app bar is this body uh, new flutter map and inside this constructor i mean object i'll simply uh, options new map options oh, i'll bring this here okay new map options and uh, center oh, we need not even center we are just bringing in a map right so uh, i'll just give a minimum zoom minimum zoom uh, 10.0 okay then the next thing we'll do is after options i'll add a layers layers this is an array and inside this uh, uh, new tile layer options sorry url template this is where we need to give the specific uh, url for that particular map template so i'll give it i'll just copy and paste it i already have the url here okay this is fine uh, once this is done, we can go ahead and simply. Once this is done, we can go ahead and simply uh, run this app and try to see what happens. So I'm running this app. Wow. We get. Okay, I don't understand this language exactly, but we get a nice map uh, inside our screen, and uh, we can simply just you know move around. Uh, actually i can't i don't think i can simulate the pinch to zoom feature here right in the emulator anyway uh, we we are now able to bring our leaflet map a basic map inside your application right 
say for instance for example you need to uh, show this map up in a particular location okay say for instance new york if you want to uh, show this map in uh, whenever the map loads uh, say for example you want to bring up uh, new york so in that case what you need to do is uh, specify latitude and longitude import as usual there is a spe specific package for that package lat long i think yeah lat long lat long dot dot why we need to leave a space here okay now using this you can specify a latitude and longitude coordinate uh, inside the options new map options here it's there right why is it always messing up my alignments completely i kept this here right Uh, now we'll do this center new lat uh, long latitude and longitude for New York would be I think it's 40.71 wait let me check 40.71 and longitude would be uh, 74 it's on the western hemisphere right so I'll add a negative sign Okay, uh, now if you just run the application, I think we need to close, rerun the entire application again. Wow, now the map loads up in New York, right? Uh, I think it would be somewhere around here since the center was here, uh, the point, the coordinates 40.71 and uh, 74.00. Uh, these two coordinates would be around somewhere here, I guess. So this is how you, if you increase or decrease this zoom value, uh, the map will get, no, not this, this zoom value, the minimum zoom value, the map will get changed accordingly. If not, you can simply pinch uh, to zoom, pinch and expand to zoom in and uh, pinch and shrink to uh, zoom out. That's all, uh, I mean, uh, you know all this already, right? So yeah, this is how you bring in a basic uh, map inside your Flutter applications, guys. This is leaflet maps. Uh, before wrapping up, we'll see one more feature. We'll see how to uh, place a marker on the map. Okay, that's an important thing, right? Markers are highly useful whenever you want to denote certain locations, certain specific locations, or uh, say, for instance, you want to denote some event happening at a location or something like that. A marker is highly useful, right? So let's see how to place a marker on this, a tappable marker maybe on this. Tappable marker is nothing but an icon button. <laughs> Essentially, that's the tappable marker. Anyway, you'll see that. Uh, now that I have uh, inside a layer, now that I have this, uh, what I can do is, uh, this is the tile layer options, right? Just give a comma here. And uh, new marker layer options. Marker will add as a separate layer and place it over the tile layer markers this will be a list okay uh, new marker you can specify with maybe 45 and height again 45 cool uh, then where should we place this we'll place this on the center okay uh, new york right Fine, and uh, we'll we need to specify how this uh, marker would look, right? So for that builder context uh, new container, I'll place this inside a container so that I can have some child uh, icon button uh, icon 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 start location on and color color start so maybe red and uh, icon size again 45.0 and on pressed mm, you can write any action say this for now let's uh, simply print a message Okay, 
fine now let's run this if we if everything goes fine we should see a marker exactly in the center of the screen i think wow it's almost at the center you can see that a uh, nice marker has been placed here right now this is based on wait i'll move this a bit so that you can maybe see the marker uh, better you need to move this very minutely otherwise it will since this is the face of the earth that we are playing with see here it is right so uh, this is how you place markers on your uh, flutter apps guys any it can be any icon i have just given it location on so that uh, it will look somewhat maybe now our marker has become a phone that's because we gave the phone is not exactly a good marker i guess the old one was better location something right location or oh, even if i change this i have to <laughs> read and it won't work on the hot reload thing right and anyway, uh, leave it this is the this is how you place marker in your uh, flutter applications guys now let's just try tapping on this you see marker tap right because this entire marker is a button and tapping on this you can uh, perform any action that's required uh, as per your wish okay so this is how you bring in a leaflet map inside your flutter application and you place a marker over the uh, map as well you can also similarly navigate to different sections of the map using uh, this particular center option so that uh, the map gets loaded exactly where you want it to whenever uh, your application your application is opened there are a lot of other options as well that you could uh, exploit and make use of while uh, bringing in leaflet maps inside your uh, flutter apps you can also use mapbox mapbox is a separate third party provider uh, not exactly a provider it's a company uh, uh, in which you can create custom maps you can create cool looking uh, maps map tiles and then import that uh, call that here inside the tile layer options you can use your maps that you created using mapbox here in the url section and then uh, those maps that you created will get loaded here you can create heat maps you can create uh, other cool looking maps as well you explore that on your own okay you explore that on your own so yeah guys uh, give a comment below if you want to see geolocation next or give if you want to see uh, google maps next uh, drop a hit a hit like button hit the thumbs up if you really like this video uh, subscribe to my channel it's free come on subscribe uh to watch more cool stuff like this buy my course it's the link is available in the description below uh and support me obviously if you buy my course you are going to support me you are going to uh make sure that i am able to pay my internet bills this month anyway uh yeah so that's it guys thanks i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye